Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn to interconvert between the wavelength and frequency of an electromagnetic radiation to relate the order of a particular type of electromagnetic radiation in the electromagnetic spectrum. First, let us discuss what an electromagnetic radiation is. Electromagnetic radiation consists of oscillating electric and magnetic fields that are perpendicular to each other and to the direction of propagation of the electromagnetic wave. So, in an electromagnetic radiation, the electric field, magnetic field and the direction of propagation are always mutually perpendicular to each other. There are different types of electromagnetic radiation Visible light that is emitted from the sun is a form of electromagnetic radiation. Microwaves that we use to cook the food. X-rays that are used to image a broken bone. Radio waves that are used to take a magnetic resonance image of a body organ are all different types of electromagnetic radiations. Unlike sound, Electromagnetic rays does not need any medium to travel through. That is, they can pass through in the vacuum as well. There are three important characteristics that describe an electromagnetic wave. The first characteristic is called wavelength. The wavelength is defined as the distance between two consecutive peaks or troughs in a wave. Peaks are the highest points on a transverse wave and troughs are the lowest points on the transverse wave. We represent wavelength by a Greek letter lambda. Since it is a distance between two points, we use units of distance to express the wavelength. The most commonly used units to express wavelength are meters, nanometers and angstroms. One angstrom is equal to 10 to the negative 10 meters and one nanometer is equal to 10 to the minus 9 meters. The second characteristic is called frequency. The frequency of a wave is defined as the number of cycles or waves that pass through a given point in space in one second. Frequency is represented by a Greek letter nu. The commonly used units for frequency are cycles per second or simply expressed as per second or hertz. For example, let us say that the following electromagnetic radiation is propagating from left to right. In one second, three cycles or wavelengths passed through the given point in space. Therefore, the frequency of the wave is expressed as three cycles per second or three per second or three hertz. The third characteristic of an electromagnetic radiation is amplitude. Amplitude is defined as the height of a peak or the depth of a trough of a particular wave. The amplitude of an electromagnetic radiation is related to its brightness or intensity. The radiation with a higher amplitude is brighter compared to the radiation with a lower amplitude. An electromagnetic radiation with a particular wavelength can have different amplitudes, therefore different brightness values. One of the important features of electromagnetic radiation is that all types of electromagnetic radiations travel at the same speed which is equal to 3.0 times 
10 to the 8 meters per second. This is a constant and its value will be provided to you in the exams. As a consequence of this feature, the frequency of a particular electromagnetic radiation is inversely proportional to its wavelength. We will discuss more about the reciprocal relationship of wavelength and frequency in the next slide. Let us say we have two different types of electromagnetic waves here. A red color and a blue color light waves. As you can see, the red color wave has a longer wavelength compared to the blue color wave. Let us say both the waves are propagating from left to right. Since both of these are a type of electromagnetic radiations and that all types of electromagnetic radiations have a constant velocity of 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, in a given amount of time, both of these waves travel same distance. For example, after one second, both of these waves traveled a certain distance d. As we can see, the number of waves passing through a given point in space in one second, that is the frequency, is greater for the blue light with shorter wavelength. Therefore, we can say that the frequency of a light is inversely proportional to its wavelength and the product of wavelength and the frequency is equal to the velocity of that particular electromagnetic radiation. And we know that the velocity is equal to 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, which is a constant. Since all types of electromagnetic radiations have same velocity, if we are given with wavelength of any electromagnetic radiation, we should be able to calculate its frequency and vice versa. This is one of the most common questions that you get asked in the exam. As we discussed earlier, there are several different types of electromagnetic radiations such as visible light, x-rays, microwaves, radio waves, etc. Each of these electromagnetic radiations have characteristic wavelength and therefore a characteristic frequency. If we arrange all the types of electromagnetic radiations in the increasing or decreasing order of their wavelengths, we get something called as electromagnetic spectrum. In an electromagnetic spectrum, we have radio waves with highest wavelength of 1000 meters or 1 kilometer, followed by microwaves with one hundredth of a meter wavelength. Then we have infrared radiation with a wavelength equals to 10 to the minus 5 meters followed by visible light which is a combination of seven different colors violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red followed by ultraviolet radiation, then X-rays, and then gamma rays. As we can see, when we move from left to the right, the wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation decreases. And because the frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength, the frequency increases from left to right. You don't have to memorize the exact wavelength values of each electromagnetic radiation, but you need to remember the order in which they are arranged. 
one additional thing that you need to remember is the wavelength range of visible light which is 380 nanometers for violet light up to 700 nanometers for red light. Let us do an example problem. An FM radio station broadcasts at a frequency of 100 megahertz. What is the wavelength of the radio waves in nanometers? Let's first write down what is given. Frequency of an electromagnetic radiation is given as 100 megahertz. And what is being asked? We need to calculate the wavelength of the same electromagnetic radiation. We learned earlier that the wavelength and the frequency are related by the formula nu times lambda is equal to c which is the velocity of light or electromagnetic radiation and its value is 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. If we rearrange this equation to isolate the unknown variable, we get lambda is equal to c over nu. Let us plug in the values. The value of c is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and value of nu is given as 100 megahertz. I encourage you to keep the units during the calculations. First, let us convert megahertz into hertz. We know that 1 megahertz is equal to 10 to the 6 hertz. Next, we have second inverse unit in the numerator. And the unit of frequency used in this problem is hertz. However, we can also use second inverse as the unit. So I am replacing hertz with second inverse. The second inverse in the numerator and second inverse in the denominator gets cancelled and my leftover units are meter, which is an appropriate unit for wavelength. If we do the calculation, we get 3 meters. However, we were asked to calculate the wavelength of the radiation in nanometers. So we need to multiply this with a conversion factor that has meters in the denominator and nanometers in the numerator. We know that 1 meter is equal to 10 to the 9 nanometers. So meters and meters get cancelled. The leftover answer is 3.0 times 10 to the 9 nanometers.